Got a bit of a different project on today. We've got our uh, Dazzle uh, DP8 plow here. Um, we've got a little play on the turnover pin. Um, to be fair, it's been like it for some time. Basically, when we bought the plow several years ago now, uh, it had no grease nipple fitted, or at least someone had managed to snap it off. Um, in the back side of this, there's, there's a grease nipple in the front, and another one in the back, and someone had broke it off. So, the first thing I'd done was managed to extract the old one, I actually drilled it, retapped it and put a bigger grease nipple in um, but obviously it had been ran for so long like that that um, it blocked its oil, its oil uh, grease passages inside so she still wouldn't take no grease but so we're going to change this, um, there should be a set of bronze bushes in the centre here um, so we just I've just flicked it around got the uh, cast nut off the end here, had to drill the rope in out because it was rather severely stuck ok so I've just managed to drive the shaft um, back through the headstock there now, sticking out the back. He was fucking tight, but a couple of sledgehammers, and uh, he's moved. I just have a quick measure up, and there isn't enough clearance between there and the body of the plow for that to come out. So I'm gonna have to um, take it off the furrow adjuster there and slide the whole headstock forward. I should get enough clearance then to get that one out. Okay, we've got the engine crane in there now, so we've just taken the weight of the headstock. Got the uh, turnover ram unconnected at the bottom there, so freed up that off the body of the plough, so I've dragged that forward enough, hopefully that shaft will clear and if I knock that shaft out we should come clear right the headstock's off there now uh, took a bit of persuading, he was pretty tight in the end bushes um, but he's out so I'm gonna order up some new bushes for inside the well, you can't see it's full of grease at the moment but I'll clean all that out um, drive the old bushes out and uh, clear the uh, grease Greaseways out, sort that out, put some new grease nipples in it, put the new bushes in, and then we'll get some shims to get this nice and tight again, and then boulder back together again. Okay, just finished uh, putting the turnover ram back together. Um, as you saw in the previous video, the uh, ram snapped off the piston. Um, happened a while ago, so it means turning the plow over is a bit of an arse. So I've uh, put new seals, new new piston in the ram, changed the bushes each end, and just given it a bit of a clean up. So that should be working a bit better now. Right, well, excuse the quality, we're running on phone camera now because I didn't bring anything with me but due to excessive rain this winter we've got several farm bridges like this one basically crosses over a river to give us access to other fields uh, that basically silted up more leaves and wood and whatever went up against the pipes we had put in and uh, blocked it up and obviously then it just silts this catchment area right up and then overflows over the bridge and if left like that then the bridge disappears. Um, and we haven't had a digger in, we've got, well we haven't had a chance to have a digger in here to sort it out properly yet so we're just working our way through clearing just enough with a shovel to um, just to open up the pipe as you can see we've sort of redirected the water here now so it's coming down the centre again rather than it was going round the outside and then round this outside and then straight over the bank so that will at least keep the bank at bay for a while and you'll probably find if you leave it like this for a few weeks it'll cut its own already it's cut itself a hell of a trench here because it's only soft silty stuff that's, that's left here and then we'll dig this catchment area back out again when the diggers here next and we've got some epic weather and I'm just making Chris do all the hard work for a minute while I hold this